For another Marshall Fire victim, she's finding some of her sentimental belongings as debris removal picks up. Stephanie raised her two girls in their Sagamore home. She got the call on Friday that their address is coming up for clearing. She immediately felt the need to go back out one last time to sift through what's left. It was emotional. I mean, it, you're, it's, I would say in some ways I'm just very numb with what's happening. Um, but I was very grateful that there's movement moving forward. And in the same breath, I felt this huge need to get back out there um, to do one last um, sifting to see if we could find anything else. She's uncovered the key to their front door. Her childhood Mickey fork that she had journaled about missing and then also the incense holder that she and her daughters bought on a special trip while she was fighting cancer. Stephanie ended up doing her fourth and final sift alone on Easter Sunday, but says she could not be more grateful with the treasures she found. Families impacted by the Marshall Fire have a really unique way to turn tragedy into art. This is so cool. We were just talking about it during the commercial break. Can't wait to tell you more about it. We're with Jane Glotzer. She's a Boulder Mosaic artist here to talk about some of the free workshops going on this summer. So these are some examples of your work personally, but Correct. what you guys are do doing is asking folks that were impacted by this to go out the stories that we had earlier this morning to their properties find some of you know the pieces that are left behind and you're going to show them how to turn it into art kind of I, I like the way you put it healing from the ashes to put that together it's the name of our project healing from the ashes uh colorado mosaic artist does a lot of community outreach yeah. pro bono projects and we were trying to offer just a little bit of healing to the people impacted wow. by the fire um, I wasn't directly yeah. impacted, but I did lose my home when I was a teenager to a fire. Oh, so wow. you know, oh, understand yeah. oh, wow. what that feels well. like. And so literally anything. So this is an example here of what looks to be maybe a dish, some sort of mirror, a key, some rocks, some pebbles. From pebbles. The so whatever people, you know, and hopefully everyone was able to find at least something, uh, and whatever they can find, just trying to piece together to really just commemorate their their lives exactly. and, and their past. We're calling it a memory mosaic just yeah. to offer maybe a little bit of healing and art can be touch emotions and so we are offering this free workshop that's so cool in the summer august 19th and 20th okay. out in lewisville yep. near where the fire happened um colorado mosaics at gmail.com for any kind of information right. okay. and the, or donation. You have the Lutheran Church right there. There it is on so the screen. So that's where it'll happen. It'll happen Christ at the, yeah, the church there. But the reason that we're that's talking cool. to you today, because we ran stories throughout the morning, that folks are just now going back to their properties before they go in with the demolition process. Exactly. So you want the folks to know now, hey, grab a few things. And again, as Ashley pointed out, I mean, it can be stones. It can be, you guys can make art really out of anything. Anything. Mosaics, okay. you can use anything. Gotcha. Break it up and put it back together in a new way. And we're, we're calling for now because we want to um, make sure you have an opportunity. They have an opportunity yep. to, yeah. to retrieve some things Going and now. set them aside to maybe create something. Well, they it. just started the federal help in terms of the cleanup yesterday. Yes. So a lot of people got notifications and went back one last time over the weekend. But it'll still take a few months, so plenty of time oh, yeah. for the victims to get back out to their properties and salvage what they can. It's, it's been incredible to hear their stories of what they're able to find and the simple things that now mean so much that maybe didn't mean as much before. I mean, you lose all your physical possessions and you still yeah. have your memories, but it's nice to be able to set them into something and yeah. have a visual healing from yeah. the ashes. And, and Jane, you and a number of other artists, you're going to for free, it's pro bono, as you mentioned, help these folks out, give them something, maybe something as simple as this, just maybe to hang in their bathroom or something in the new home that they, they decide to build. Exactly. We're going to provide all materials. We'll provide a cradle oh, board, cool. a little bit different than this. This was just a frame I had at home that I um, used to yeah. sure. make something quickly for you guys, but a uh, cradle board. Cool. And we will provide additional materials that yeah. people need to fill in. And, and ideas. If I, I'd be sitting there like, Jane, and I don't ideas. know what to do. you got to help me out with this. I'm not an artist. Absolutely. There will be um, artists from Colorado Mosaic Artists. Very cool. Very cool. It. Awesome. Again, Colorado Mosaic Artists at gmail.com. Also, Colorado Mosaic Artists or dot org, I should say, for more information. Thank you for joining us this morning. And I hope people watching at home spread the word so yeah. much. and that people That's can great. get out to that workshop in August. Thanks, Thanks for having me. me.